we are back with another string review and play test. In this video, we will be talking about Genesis White Magic. But before we do that, there are a couple of caveats and things you need to know before we jump into the play test and the review. Um, the first thing is, if I do have a bias towards any company, it's probably Genesis, okay? I'll be open about that. If I try one of their strings and I like it, I'm probably gonna even say more positive things about it than if I was to try another company. And the reason for that is when I was in high school, junior, senior year, starting to take tennis a little bit more seriously, I needed to find like a cheaper string to the Babolat stuff I was using to Revenge, to RPM Blast. And that was when Black Magic came out. And so I actually made that conversion to Black Magic. And while I wouldn't say it plays as well as RPM Blast, it made sense for me at the time. The tension maintenance seemed to be a little bit better. The string was actually like a little bit softer. And we'll do a review on Black Magic at some point. And the thing everyone says about it, and it's very true, is that it has this really weird kind of mushy feel to it. But at the same time, if you just wail at the ball and swing as hard as possible and swing as fast as possible, as I do with Reckless Abandon, um, for the most part, the ball will continue you to go in like you can take a huge cut at the ball you don't have to worry it's going to stay in the court and obviously that's what I needed when you play high school and like college tennis uh, typically the goal is just to hit the ball as hard as possible and you know I hope hopefully people don't take this uh, too literally and like leave angry comments but that's how I played and that's how a lot of people do play um, at that level there's not a whole lot of thinking that goes on it's only afterwards when your arm is shot that you have to actually somewhat be a little bit more strategic anyway spin X love that string um, True Grit, enjoy that string. Uh, Typhoon, really like that string. Uh, most of their strings are very good. They're polyesters. They all kind of fill specific niches. Uh, ni niches, I don't know how you say that word. I guess it's niches? Niches? I don't know. Doesn't matter. They all kind of fill particular voids for different types of players looking for polyesters. They're multi-filaments. Explosion, I think, is amazing. I actually use that string more than any other for my like 3 0 three, five clients, and they all really like it. Thunder Blast, not as big a fan of. Honestly, think you could probably stick to TNT. Um, it doesn't move around quite as much. I find Thunder Blast maybe has too much power, moves too much, kind of an annoying string for me. But otherwise, big fan of Genesis and what they've put out there on the market. Is every polyester going to be perfect for you? No, but that doesn't really matter. That's not the point. When you do a string review, Let's say that you're working at a pro shop. When you do a review or you try a string, you're just playing with it and thinking, okay, who does this string connect with? Who am I going to recommend this string to based on their playing style, their budget, whatever it is that they're looking for, whatever it is they need? And I'm gonna come back to that a little bit later when we really dive into white magic. The other thing you need to know before we dive in is that the company, Genesis, is now under new ownership. And this is the first string that they have put out under new ownership. And we'll come back to that in a little while. So let's start by just reading the back of the packaging here, shall we? Okay, here's what it says. White magic, German quality strings. Vast majority of strings are manufactured in either Germany or Taiwan, so there's nothing special about that really. White Magic is a new string made with top of the line German technology. Play tests have shown it gives the player, and here we go, here come the buzzwords. Great durability, more power, tension maintenance, softer than other co-polyester strings. Good spin generation. So they actually just put good spin generation, not great spin generation. And to be honest, this isn't a knock on Genesis. If you read the back of any string package, it basically reads exactly the same. So um, as a comparison here, I have a TI, and we're going to be reviewing this one, Tier 1, Black Knight. And what they write is an innovative, an innovative I'm having a tough time talking today, high-performance string designed for the modern tournament player. The latest co-polyester blend ensures an ideal balance of power, control, and access to spin. Enhancements in durability and tension stability will offer the avid player an ultimate long-lasting playing experience. So it doesn't matter what you read, okay? It doesn't matter what string package you get, they're all going to say that they're great because that's the point, but they aren't all great. And this is, I think, the second time that we're having a pass on it rating for the string. And I'd have to say that even compared to Head Hawk, which was the other one, this one even falls well below that. And the main reason I say that is I do not know who would want to use this string. I don't know who this string would click for. So while personally for my game, it absolutely doesn't work, 
That doesn't mean that it's a bad string. It just means, well, maybe it's gonna work better for somebody else. And hopefully I can discern that when I'm playing with the string. With this one, I really couldn't figure out and I don't know why it exists. And this is where we would go into conspiracy. So I don't have any proof or knowledge or anything to back this up, but it feels like you know the new owner wanted to put something out there, try to sell something new using the kind of black magic um, brand, if you would call it that. Black magic is Genesis is like, that is their string. That is what, when you think Genesis, you think black magic. And that's not just me saying that. I'm sure that's true for a lot of people who have knowledge on strings. So let's go ahead and just read the product description from the Tennis Depot website. I'm gonna have to move my head because the camera's here. Genesis White Magic is the next generation string from Genesis. We took the Black Magic, which is our best seller, and made it in white, while at the same time adding new materials for making it more power, and this, this is exactly what it says here, and having like this greater elasticity. And here we go with the advantages, soft polyester string, good playing comfort, extraordinary durability and great power. It also generates really good spin. So kind of like what we read on the back of the packaging. And when I was getting some of the emails from the new owner and they were kind of pushing this string, they kept being like, oh, this is 10% softer. Or this is some percentage softer than Black Magic. And I'm thinking to myself when I'm reading this before I order it, I'm like, oh my God, if they could just figure out like how to maybe uh, eliminate that mushy feel of Black Magic, make it have a little more pop um, to it, have it feel a little bit nicer off the string bed, then they're gonna have a winner. This is gonna be a phenomenal, phenomenal string. So I order a set right away, string it up in my racket and I'm playing with it and I'm like, I hate this. I absolutely despise this. I get no feeling off the string bed. Don't feel like I'm generating any spin. It's maybe a little bit softer, but it just doesn't feel like anything. And when I swing big, the ball goes long. It's not staying in the court. So what exactly is the purpose of this string? So I put it down, I'm like, okay, maybe it just needed to be broken in, I'll try it again tomorrow. So I pull it out the next day, playing with it, exactly the same result happens. And I'm just playing like absolute crap. Okay, I just had no response off this string whatsoever. I didn't feel confident swinging at the ball. Serves and volleys, blah, just feeling blah. Ground strokes, blah. I just didn't have anything positive to say. And my guess is that this string performed relatively well in the lab, but when you actually put it in your racket, you're just kind of like, what is the point? Like, why does this exist? And why does it have like any kind of attachment to Black Magic? This string is actually giving Black Magic a bad name. Because if you're a fan of Black Magic and you try this string, you're like, these aren't related. You know, it'd been one thing if they named it and branded it something different, but they called it White Magic. And maybe they started with the Black Magic formula. And that's fine. But when you actually play it and you play with it, there is nothing that I could find positive to say. There was nothing I could find like, oh, okay, well, this string might be good for X. And you're going to say, you're going to say to me, and because the new trend, and you know, we have a lot of strings coming in. One of them is Luxalon Smart that I'm very interested to try. I'm going to have to string my racket in the 40s, which is going to be really interesting to say the least. We'll see how it really performs under that kind of scrutiny. Um, but you might say, well, this is one of these softer polyesters that they're trying to put out there that, you know, kind of give you some more benefits of polyesters, but it feels a little bit closer to a multi-filament or it feels a little bit closer to a synthetic. I didn't have that experience. And what I would say to people who are making that transition from a multi-filament to a polyester, why don't you just hybrid? You know, use a good polyester, use a good multi-filament, boom, you're gonna have a much better experience than going full poly with white magic. So if I had to recommend this string to someone, and I really wouldn't recommend it to anybody, but if I had to recommend this string to someone into a specific type of player, it would be that 3-0, 3-5 player um, that's gonna just try out a polyester in the full bed. If you're a beginner, you're gonna like not know what's going on when you hit the ball. And if you're an advanced player, you're gonna be wanting more control. And you're also gonna want a different kind of feel off of the string bed. So in terms of tension maintenance, I think that's probably pretty good. Um, I only really used it for three or four hours before I just had to cut it out because I just had it in my bag with five or six other rackets and I never went to it. I just never felt like I wanted to pick up that racket and try that string again. So. Unfortunate for Genesis because I really love the brand. I'm biased towards the brand, but for $9, no, not at all, not for me. So uh, that kind of does it for this review. 
Um, if you had a different experience, definitely leave it down in the comments. Um, I was really disappointed with this one. I wanted to like it. I wanted to come on here and be like, this is adding to the Black Magic legacy, but unfortunately it does the exact opposite. So just like Head Hawk in a full bed, I would definitely say pass on this string. There's so many better alternatives out there for around the same price point or a little bit more, which honestly pay the extra couple dollars um, to have a much better playing experience. So thanks for watching and until next time, hit the courts.